The idea of finding alien civilizations has fascinated people for years, leading to many theories and scientific efforts. So far, traditional methods like listening for radio signals haven't found anything. Now, scientists are trying a new idea, looking for advanced civilizations using energy from black holes. These civilizations might build huge structures to get energy from black holes, which could leave energy signals we can detect. This new way of searching could change how we see the universe and our place in it. In this video, we will explore how this method works and what it could mean for the search for extraterrestrial life. Civilizations grow alongside their energy needs, and advanced civilizations would require energy on an astronomical scale. This concept forms the foundation of the Kardashev scale, proposed by Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev in 1964. The scale categorizes civilizations based on their energy consumption. Type 1 civilizations harness planetary energy, Type 2 civilizations capture stellar energy, and Type 3 civilizations control galactic energy. Moving beyond planetary and stellar energy, Scientists now theorize that black holes could serve as energy sources for advanced civilizations. Black holes are among the most efficient energy sources in the universe. When matter is pulled into a black hole, it heats up as it accelerates, producing immense energy in the process called accretion. The energy emitted by the accretion disk surrounding the black hole can include X-rays and other forms of radiation, making it a potent energy resource. Advanced civilizations might also exploit processes like the Penrose process, which extracts energy from a spinning black hole's ergosphere, and the blanford znajek process, which leverages magnetic fields to generate energy. A theoretical Type II civilization might build a Dyson sphere, a massive structure encasing a black hole, to harness this energy. Such a sphere would collect energy from the accretion disk, relativistic jets, and other emissions. Crucially, the sphere would radiate waste heat, detectable as infrared radiation. By observing specific anomalies in energy patterns, scientists believe we could identify these structures, offering a potential techno-signature of advanced technological activity. To detect Dyson spheres around black holes, scientists must rely on advanced observational tools and techniques. Infrared astronomy plays a central role in this search. If such structures exist, they would emit excess infrared radiation due to waste heat. Instruments like the Atacama Large Millimeter Chush Submillimeter Array ALMA and the Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer WISE are well equipped to detect these infrared signals. ALMA, with its high sensitivity and resolution, can capture faint energy signatures from distant objects, while WISE's Wide Sky Infrared Surveys provide valuable data for identifying anomalies. Black holes undergoing accretion also emit high-energy X-rays, which could appear unusual if influenced by an artificial structure. By studying the electromagnetic spectrum, scientists can identify patterns that deviate from natural astrophysical processes. For example, an excess of mid-infrared radiation combined with anomalous X-ray emissions might signal the presence of a Dyson sphere. Recent studies have already made progress in identifying potential Dyson sphere candidates by analyzing data from surveys like Gaia, 2MASS, and WISE, Researchers have discovered stars with unusual infrared emissions. These anomalies, mostly associated with M-dwarf stars, suggest the possibility of artificial structures. However, distinguishing between natural phenomena, such as dust clouds or protoplanetary disks, and artificial sources remains a challenge. Follow-up observations and spectral energy distribution modeling are essential to confirm the nature of these candidates. One of the most exciting scientific impacts of this search lies in its potential to refine our understanding of black hole energy extraction mechanisms. The Penrose process, 
a theoretical model describing how energy can be extracted from a rotating black hole's ergosphere involves splitting particles in this unique region, allowing one to fall into the black hole while the other escapes with more energy than the original. Similarly, the blanford zanajek process explains how magnetic fields around a rotating black hole can tap into its immense energy, driving powerful relativistic jets. Both processes remain unconfirmed observationally, but are foundational in astrophysics. Observing technosignatures from a Dyson sphere, such as waste heat or unusual radiation patterns, aligned with these processes could not only validate these theories, but also reveal unknown dynamics of energy manipulation near black holes. Observations of stars with infrared excess emissions, discovered through surveys like Gaia and WISE, have already hinted at possible artificial megastructures. While unconfirmed as technosignatures, these anomalies highlight the potential of this research direction. Theoretical studies further suggest that primordial black holes stable and efficient energy sources are particularly appealing targets for advanced civilizations and astronomers. Furthermore, the success of exoplanetary research bolsters the credibility of searching for alien technosignatures. The discovery of thousands of exoplanets, many inhabitable zones, shows that planetary systems are common, reinforcing the idea that intelligent civilizations could evolve and develop technologies capable of harnessing energy on a colossal scale. SETI's growing focus on techno-signatures, such as unusual radiation patterns or megastructures, demonstrates a shift towards recognizing that indirect evidence may be our best chance of finding advanced life. As we keep exploring, we come closer to answering one of humanity's biggest questions. Are we alone? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update, and feel free to share your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Stay curious, and see you in the next one.